Here's my phase lock loop driven solid state Tesla coil. Driver board with GDT, half bridge, Tesla resonator. Rectified mains, Variac, and a clean pattern for the hack bridge. That there is a little uh, 20 volt AC transformer which powers the 12 volt regulator. I'm having a bit of trouble with this driver as it is only working at high enough power levels where the feedback is getting through and it self, self oscillates or when I am capacitively coupled to it by being near the antenna section. I was originally using a DC blocking capacitor there, which the antenna went to and then a long antenna came off of, just like I did with uh, my normal inverter based design, but for some reason it wasn't working with this, and I originally thought it was the section behind the capacitor that I was capacitively coupling to and picking up a signal, so I clipped it and brought it up. But it isn't. It's whenever I get close to the PLL chip there that it actually starts to self-oscillate at low power levels. I'm not sure how to fix that, as I've tried uh, capacitively coupling to ground and to high side, and nothing. It doesn't seem to work. Just me. And uh, there shouldn't really be any RF currents going through me, especially being far away from the resonator. So I'm not sure what to do about that, other than taking out the antenna-based feedback and using a uh, current transformer on the return lead but I don't have one of those and I can't want to build one so I'm going to have to order one and I don't really want to do that this is just for auto audio modulation there I can't get that to work either but it might be because I only have a stereo cable and this is mono so I haven't checked but I'm worrying about the overall performance first this resonator primary draws a lot more current than it does on the other secondary, even though it's the same number of turns, same gauge wire, and same diameter. I think I'm drawing close to 10 amps here. So I already popped the fuse on my 5 amp Variac, and I have it uh, bypassed temporarily, because with these short run times, I don't have to worry about it popping the Variac. Nothing's going to happen there. Anyway, without further ado, let me uh, fire it up and show the finger effect I was talking about. Turn the driver on. Oh, I had on away. Driver on. Variac on. A little low voltage. About 30 volts AC. It's not touching, just getting close. You might be able to hear it. It's only when I get capacitively coupled to it that it resonates and oscillates. Let's turn up the power a bit. Around 50 volts AC, it starts to go by itself. As you can tell, the secondary lead going up to the top load uh, has massive corona as the insulation broke down on it. The stuttering is because it keeps losing feedback. If I increase the power, it'll stay stable. And then it doesn't matter if I get close to it or not. But if I get in front of it, it stops. Let's crank up the power real quick.
there you have it. About six inch arcs. Primary is warm but not hot. Secondary is cold. Fets are nice and cool. Using different MOSFETs than I normally use. These I got as a sample. They are uh, 150s from Fairchild. They're great. They're running really cool and switching a massive amount of power. Well, there you have it. If you have any ideas about what to do to fix a driver issue, I'd love to hear it. It's a uh, basic 4046 PLL driver running to the UCC 37321-37322 pair. DC blocking cap for the GDT right into a standard half bridge. It's all very, very standard stuff. No idea why I can't get it to work right. The audio modulation doesn't work, and under about 50 volts AC, it does not self-oscillate. Everything else is running fine. So, any ideas at all? I'd love to hear them. Until next time.